All right, what is poppin', people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yan. I do hope you lot are all doing well, and welcome back to the channel. Two videos in one day. Well, I wanted to make this video because, yes, I'm doing a bad thing. I'm getting hyped on a transfer rumor, but one that I really dig. Demarzio has published a story, a tweet, a notice that Chelsea are in contact with Napoli to sign Dries Mertens, who's only got six months left on his contract, by the way, and this will make sense in a lot of reasons for like, I don't know how long for Chelsea to sign him, 18 months or something. It is super exciting, and I'm gonna tell you why in this video. But remember, before we get into the content, subscribe to Football Therapy if you, shut up, car. Jesus Christ, man. But remember, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe to Football Therapy, hit the bell notifications icon, why not like the video? All right, let's get into it. Right, Dries Martins, before I give you the details of why this transfer room has come out, I really like Dries Mertens. I think he's such an excellent player for so many reasons. I thought that for a long, long time, and I just love the footballer, okay? Sure, he's 32, right? He's not young, but I just always loved him because he's got that sort of body shape of Eden Hazard. He's a bit of a nimble, technical player. I'm not saying he plays like Eden Hazard because he doesn't. He scores more goals than him, generally, uh, but he doesn't like dribble like Eden Hazard, but he's such a good player, and I'm gonna get into it why he's a good player. But I really, really like him personally because he's a hilarious, hilarious character. If you follow him on social media or on Instagram and stuff, if you have for a while, he looks like such a funny, awesome guy. But he's a great footballer. And of course, he speaks completely fluent English. Not only does he speak fluent English so he could immediately talk to Frank Lampard, take all tactical instruction on immediately. Remember, he's a seasoned professional as well, so he's not gonna mess about. He'll know what Lampard wants. I'm sure he can speak Italian to the Italians, French to like the French speakers, Belgium and French people in the squad. He might even speak Spanish, I don't know. Pro what I'm saying is there'll be no issue whatsoever in terms of communication. Before I tell you why he's a great player, let me just give you the lowdown of this transfer link. So, Demarzio said this, Chelsea are serious about acquiring Dries Mertens. The London-based club wants to bring him to the Premier League during this transfer window. There are ongoing conversations with Napoli to understand if there are margins for a deal. Should Chelsea be able to sign Mertens, it would make it easier for Olivier Giroud to leave. The French striker is now a target for Tottenham. Now, I don't know if Giroud would go to Tottenham, but certainly Chelsea acquiring Dries Mertens making a deal happen would certainly mean Giroud could go to any one of his potential suitors. Maybe that includes into Milan. Problem being, even if the worst happens and he does go to Tottenham, which I really wouldn't like, if Chelsea got Dries Mertens, I'd be stoked, okay? I really, like I said, I really like this guy and here's why. So I've already told you about how he'd fit in in the sense of he'd have no communication problems whatsoever with Frank Lampard with his fluent English or indeed fitting into the squad due to his sort of happy-go-lucky persona. He'd integrate straight away. He wouldn't be a recluse or an introvert. He'd be able to speak to everyone. He already knows, you know, Batshuayi from uh, the Belgium squad. He's obviously very, very good friends with Jorginho already. And this obviously is an opportunity to tell you about the other link, which is a bit silly on social media. Someone did a post about, you know, Jorginho and Mertens hugging with the recent links to Chelsea. And Jorginho liked it through his personal social media account. I know that's no form whatsoever of validation, but you know, it shows he likes the idea. So, the social integration into the group and the understanding of the Chelsea coach Frank Lampard, none of that's a problem. And also, the versatility. Frank, Frank Lampard does a lot of switching. He does a lot of formation switching. Players often switch in the middle of the games that he plays. Mertens can literally play anywhere across the front three really, really easily, and even in a number 10 in a 4-2-3-1. Now, you hear people say that about players all the time, like, oh, he can play anywhere across the front three, but really it means, oh, they're, you know, they're a left winger that uses their right foot that can play on the right-hand side, like, you know, Willian or hudson Adoy. but he genuinely is awesome on both sides, and he's excellent as a number nine. He explodes, he scores a lot of goals. He brings exactly what Frank Lampard needs in his forward line. Frank Lampard says he needs someone to convert chances and he needs someone a bit senior up front. You know, he said this when he was talking about Cavani and indeed afterwards, 
He wants someone a bit senior up front to take responsibility for these chances. Dries Mertens is your man. <laughs> so easy social integration into the squad, complete understanding of what the coach would want due to no language barrier whatsoever, complete versatility across the front three and indeed the number 10 so he can move about but indeed start in the number nine position. So. You know, you could have, um, say, Dries Merton starting on the right, say he's playing well, Tammy's not playing well up front, Dries can move over to centre forward, you can bring on hudson Adoy, Pulisic or Willian, who was ever left out. Do you see what I mean? It's a really, really good tactical option here. But I know at this point in the video you're saying, yeah, and how good is Dries Mertens? You obviously really like him, but what's his record like? Well, you guys should know a little bit of his record because of what he did under Sari. And also remember, Dries Mertens starts for Belgium in the front three with Eden Hazard. Just saying, just saying, I'm not saying he's a young superstar and he probably will be phased out of Belgium, but right now he's still a very, very effective player. Yeah, just give me a second here, let's look at some numbers. So Dries Mertens, 32 years old, we know that, it's quite short. Positions, attacking midfielder, centre, left, right, forward, he can play wherever. Now he's only got six months left on this contract. If you've been following what's going on at Napoli recently, you know it's been a bit of a horror show shambles. But still, he's still got six league goal contributions in ten appearances uh, for the Serie A side, which is a lot considering um, of what's going on. But like I said, six league goal involvements in like ten apps it's good, but because of what's been going on at Napoli, it's a poor reflection because there was literally an implosion at that club this season. So let's have a better reflection and have a look at the last couple of previous seasons. Last season, he got 16 goals and 11 assists in the league in Syria. So 27 goal involvements in 23 appearances. That's immense. 27 involvements in 23 appearances. So that will be way more than an involvement per 90 minutes because of substitutions. <laughs> and again, just this is two seasons ago, so this is when he was 30 years old. He's 32 now, but still, this was under Sarri in 16-17, the season before Sarri came to Chelsea. Dries Mertens got 28 goals and 9 assists. Alright, okay, so what's that? That is 37 goal, goal involvements in 28 appearances. He got 28 goals in 28 appearances, plus nine assists on top. Now, this isn't just a poacher who's just staying up front and nicking loads of goals. He's not doing um, what uh, Immobile is doing for Lazio. Dries Mertens is an absolute super versatile player. Like I said, he's not just a poacher. He can poach, but he's just these numbers on top of Sure, these numbers show he's a goal scorer, but on top of his absolute tactical versatility of moving around anywhere, the front three, attacking midfield, striker, he can post incredible numbers. Granted, he only has six involvements so far in 10 appearances this season, but that is a reflection of what is a disaster at Napoli. You know, he, he's outscored, he's broken the scoring record, um, or he's outscored Maradona at Napoli. No small feat whatsoever. And I think he's like only a few goals off becoming the top goal scorer for Napoli. Yet, I think he's still willing to leave due to all what's been happening at Napoli. Everything that imploded on the Ancelotti and De Laurentiis, if you go and research it if you want to learn about all the drama, but they, yeah, they were all forced into tension and, and then they all basically rallied against the ownership and everything imploded. So it's kind of a sad story in terms of his Naples perspective, not becoming the top goal scorer or signing a new contract. But Chelsea can get, a, fair enough, he's 32, but you know, up to two years, this guy can be incredibly useful in my opinion. If this deal can be struck for Chelsea, say 18 month deal, and he's happy with that, maybe he thinks, oh, I'll play 18 months at Chelsea, and then who knows, MLS or something. I think Dries Mertens can be really, really useful at Chelsea for 18 months. And if we're talking about this player that just gives Chelsea a boost for the next six months, yet they get 18 month contract due to like, you know, needing the money or something, or like making it worth their while. Honestly, honestly, if you said to me Cavani or Dries Mertens, I know all these pundits are saying Chelsea need to get Cavani. I'm saying Dries Mertens, he's far more like versatile in terms of the front three. I know Cavani's played out wide, but he's nowhere near as versatile as Dries Mertens. I think Dries Mertens is slightly younger, and I pretty much am certain that Edison Cavani doesn't speak a word of English. 
Dries Mertens is fluent in English and he will, like I said, he will know people in the squad. He'll know Batshuayi, he'll know Jorginho. For my money, for me, this is a much, much better move. Now, I know I'm acting all excited and you might be like, Jan, dude, this is just another rumor. Maybe, probably. I know Demarcio's saying there's contacts with Chelsea and I believe that Chelsea are probably in contact with a lot of people. They always are. They just rarely ever sign anyone, apparently. But if this deal was to come off, I personally would be incredibly happy with this deal. And to be honest, I think Frank Lampard would be as well. Not only would he be the difference in hopefully helping Chelsea secure top four, he'll integrate with the squad, he'll make everyone laugh, he'll give a lot of pointers to players, like not just Tammy Abraham, he could be a role model and a sort of figure to help Tammy Abraham in terms of scoring goals, but he could do that also for Pulisic and hudson Adoy. He's a tricky winger as well. I'm just super stoked on the idea. I really would want, like this to happen and because I would really like this to happen that's sort of the majority of the reason why I'm making this video right now. Still of course I'll keep you guys updated it's not gonna be an easy deal to broker I don't think because it's De Laurentiis let's be honest the whole Sari saga getting him released to Chelsea was a mission I know we bought Jorginho for what seems like an inflated price but in hindsight it was a good deal for my money people are saying crazy figures for to purchase Dries Mertens I've seen like in the tens of millions of euros for a guy who's 32 with six months left on this contract which just seems ridiculous but if Chelsea could pull something off I mean I, if, if Chelsea I know you could say it's ridiculous we say they spent 20 million euros on him I wouldn't mind but that's my bias to Dries Mertens personally Still, like I said, swing by football therapy every day. I'll keep you posted on this news story, but do let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you rate Dries Mertens? Would you think he'd be the perfect candidate to come in this January? I mean, obviously we're pretty desperate now, but what would you think generally about this signing? Express your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. And remember, follow me on Instagram. I've just hit over a thousand followers on there. I'm not doing live streams anymore on football therapy this uh, channel, but I am gonna do them some evenings on Instagram so come follow me on Instagram at football Yannick that is it from me guys you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living I'ma walk the walk outline my lines I rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chalk in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper sorry I don't I love me baby